Jeff Chandler for the events calendar. The events calendar and its add-ons adapt to use the same language used by your WordPress installation. It will default to English unless you run WordPress in a different language. Today, we're going to look at how you can change the language of the events calendar and WordPress. First, you'll need to know your language's code. Each language has an official code that WordPress uses to reference it. To find this code, we'll need to take a look at the translation teams page and find the language's code. So as we see on the screen, here's the translations page. And if we scroll down, we're going to take a look at German. And here we are right here. We see German. And this is the code right here, DE underscore capital DE. We can see that it's compatible up to 6.3.1. That's the WordPress version. And it's 100% translated. Make sure that WordPress itself has the files required to run your site in your language. Remember the language code we looked up in step one? Here's where you need it to go. It has to go in forward slash WP hyphen content forward slash languages and look for language files with your language's code. If you find them, that's great. That means WordPress supports your language. Make sure the plugin language files you need are in place by going to the forward slash lang directory in the plugin files for whatever plugin you are trying to translate. There should be two files for each language code a .po file and a .mo file. If your language files are not there, you'll need to download them from our translation site, which is here, and then you'll have to click on the plugin that you're using in order to get the translation files. For example, we're going to click on the events calendar, and this will bring up a list of translations here, and German is the example we're using. Notice how it says 97%. This means that the German version of the plugin is only 97% translated. So keep that in mind. And if we click on that language, scroll to the bottom and you'll see an export option here. And you can export it as a .po file and then you'll want to export it as a .mo file. And please note that if you're using any of our premium plugins such as the Events Calendar Pro, you'll need to have the files for that plugin as well as the translation files for the events calendar. If your language is not listed, you can register as a user on our translations website. Next, we're going to go into settings, general, and we're going to scroll down till we see site language. Click on the drop down button and select the language that you want your site to run in. Lastly, in your dashboard, we're gonna to go to settings and permalinks and make sure you clear your permalinks. So your website should now run in the language that you enabled. Keep in mind that translations may not be 100% complete or may only exist for some plugins. Further, any strings which are marked as yellow, as we can see here, have not been approved yet and the updated version may not appear in the download.po or mo files until they are approved. So you may still see some English on your site if this is the case. If you're interested in updating the translation or adding a new one altogether, we'll have links to those articles and websites in the video description below. The last thing you'll want to do is configure your event slugs for your calendar's URLs. These are located at Events, Settings, General, Viewing. Now the URLs will always use the slugs that are defined here. As you can see, the event slug URL and the single event URL slug. The default slugs are in English. So if you switch your site to another language, you probably also want to change the slugs to be in that language. If you need any additional help changing the language of the events calendar or its companion plugins, please reach out to our support team.